You're a Benson, Harry. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my channel. My name is Matt. In front of you, spinning, getting dizzy in the box, is Ensign Harry Kim. It's a one-sixth scale figure from the X06 line of Star Trek figures. So far, this is the sixth figure in their Voyager lineup. Everyone else has one, maybe two, but Voyager's got six with a seventh incoming. As Lieutenant Tom Paris will be set up right next to Harry Kim in my collection. But hey, we're here to talk about Harry Kim. And I, I have to say, the likeness to Garrett Wong is absolutely fantastic. This is not going to be a review. It's basically just going to be an overview. The box, what's in the box, a good look at the Harry Kim figure, all of his accessories, and then his spot on the shelf. So let's take a look. On the back of the box, as you can see, there are some credits. These are the people that were a part of everything. And then we're going to spin ourselves around a little bit and have a good look at the Harry in the box. Here he is, standing all suffocatingly. <laughs> you can see all of his pieces in there. He's got six sets of hands, a hand phaser and a holster, a tricorder and a holster, and then a pad. Out of the box, let's take a look at him and his portrait on the box. As you can see, a lot more detail has gone into the Harry Kim figure. This looks like it was midway through the process for Harry Kim's design. As you can see though, the figure itself, an incredible likeness of Garrett Wong. The eyes, his nose is much more defined. His laugh lines are a little bit more defined. He's just an absolutely amazing looking figure. It's just, it's just so striking how much both his face and his eyes capture the essence of Harry Kim. Of course, here's Harry in a little bit of an action pose. As you can see on his hips, he's got his tricorder holster and his hand phaser holster. And just like with the other X06 figures, those are magnetized to the side of his jumpsuit, which is a one piece jumpsuit. And you can see here as he circles around the material and the stitching of all of his pieces of his uniform are just meticulously recreated. The pleats in the back, the pleats on the sides, um, the hand phaser looks absolutely fantastic, and it does go right in the holster. The holster itself can be angled a little bit better so that the phaser doesn't fall out. And then, of course, the tricorder itself is actually magnetized together and is hinged with magnets. So you can pull the pieces apart, stick them back together as a magnet, and that's how you get the tricorder open. And then you can do the same thing. You close it up, there's a magnet, and then it slides right into the holster. And here he is, standing tall and proud, in putting something into his pad there. And this is the transporter pad that you would get with each figure along with the wedgie stand, as <laughs> I have affectionately started calling it. Everyone except for Seven of Nine got a wedgie stand. Seven of Nine, of course, got something that went around her waist, which uh, in lieu of the uniform color, probably the best move. But as you can see here, standing tall, proud, with his tricorder on one hip and his hand phaser in the other, the uh, hands and, and uh, fingers accurately represent exactly what he would be doing if he were inputting stuff into a pad. It's one of the best parts of these X06 figures is that their hands are incredibly versatile. You can either have them holding a hand phaser and a tricorder, or if you turn them a little bit to a, in a different direction, you can have them holding a pad and tapping information into it. It's actually pretty fantastic. And the hands themselves are just rubbery enough to where you don't have to feel like you're forcing the hand phaser into the hand. Um, their fingers have enough give to where it just seems like it slots right in, and then the fingers themselves clasp around the hand phaser pretty dramatically. As for the pieces that you get, including the hand phaser and the tricorder and that pad, you also get, of course, the transporter, the wedgie hugger, as I have called it. You get this wonderful plaque that goes in front of the transporter pad and the clear little holder that is placed in the front. And then he has six hands, four of which are represented here. 
And in the end here, we'll show you Captain Janeway, Akuchimoya, Tuvok, Doctor, Seven of Nine, the pole right in front of Seven of Nine, <laughs> and of course, Harry Kim. We're anxiously waiting for Lieutenant Tom Paris to show up so we can put Harry Kim basically down one more and slot... <laughs> and slot Tom Paris in between Seven of Nine and Harry Kim. But there it is. That is the shelf that they will all sit on when it's all said and done. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope you have a great day.